touchdown drive and then after we didn't handle the kickoff to go 98 yards but you know, we just they were doing a lot of line movement we were struggling protection so we wanted to widen the edge a little bit so we ran some more two and three tight end formations and uh and, and we just we ran the ball more can you talk a little bit about the success of the run especially i mean anton's big touchdown run. i mean that yeah i mean that was it that was a game changer i mean at that point they had momentum you know, they scored and we didn't handle the kickoff and we're in the two yards. And if you don't punch it out there, they're going to have great field position and a great quarterback and down seven points. So that play was, was huge. Really uh, well blocked and it was nice to see him finish that run. He had a similar run at Idaho that he didn't finish. And uh, the kid chasing him, Nunley, is a very, very fast player. So it was great to see him finish it. In terms of a game changer by your defense in the second half, will you talk about that stop after the long kickoff? Yeah, the, the stop and then the, the, the fourth down stop as well. And uh, that, that was huge because you come out of the gates and you got a three-point lead and they bring the thing all the way back. And, um, you know, it was just good because it was one of those disciplined plays that I don't think a year ago we make. You know, that they, they fake the, the sweep and they run a little pitch like a reverse. And I think last year you'd have seen 11 guys run into the sweep. And it was just encouraging that you got a freshman corner out there and they ran a play we had not shown them this week. They had not shown that play. And um, you know, they had a series that they gave the ball to Harwell, and we knew that came off it, but they hadn't run it on film yet. And it was so encouraging to see a freshman corner stay at home on a play like that. You mentioned going with the passing game, that, or the running game in the second half, but you just seemed to make, you made quicker drops and got rid of the we ball. Did. It, was so. be, it was going to be a quick game, and it would be a little for a shot pass. And a lot of our protection problems in the first half were from under center. That they were bringing a lot of inside blitzes and A gap blitzes, and either our back couldn't get there when we slid the line, we had bad leverage. And so uh, the adjustment in the second half is to run more tight end sets, and then when we did throw the ball, it was more in the shotgun, so we had a, had a chance to have a back step up. And, uh, and then we didn't have to, to gap it with our line. How big of a statement is it for you guys to come out one another tonight? I don't, I don't know if it's a statement. You know, I think sometimes you get caught up in it and I say it's a statement win, it's one win. It's a good win and we won it on the Mac and that was our goal. But you know, in terms of saying if it was a statement win, you know, we'll find out in a month. Can you talk to you about dealing with the emotion, especially that you had the move through the swing at the end of the Wyoming game. You had swings here, but it looked like you guys bounced back after the bounce. Just play the next play. I mean, in some ways it looked like a repeat of, of, of last week to start. We found the ball inside the five, and then we missed an extra point. And uh, at that point, we just decided to make the change with the kicker. And, you know, certainly a credit to Stein for, I mean, he hit every extra point. He hit a big field goal for us. And, um, you know, but again, at, at that point, okay, here we go again. And again, I think a year ago, a lot of times in a game like this, that would happen. And it's a credit to our players, especially how many young guys we have that they don't let that happen. You know, and you know what? I mean, it's good they didn't play last year. Because none, none of these guys were playing last year. You know, that, and again, our upperclassmen bounced back too. I mean, Ray Hudson, his punt block was a, you know, we felt we gave him one on the interception, but I felt we got it back on the punt block. And, uh, you know, so the mistakes kind of canceled each other out. But uh, I was just really proud of our offense in the second half. We really, you know, kind of did generate a lot of offense in the first half. In the second half, they were really controlling us up front. Our offensive line, both backs, got tough. And, uh, 
Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Coach.